Well, let me just say that um, we're here to talk about um, the affordability of health care, particularly for small businesses. And, um, you know, this is the major challenge here in Massachusetts, uh, both before and after health care reform. And um, the Mass Association of Health Plans has proposed, and um, Senator Moore, our representative family, the co-chairs of the Health Care Financing Committee, have filed a bill, which we're calling the Affordable Health Plan. Other people are calling the Moore Bill. Um, we're not here to claim authorship, but uh, certainly Senator Moore has added his uh, touch to it. Uh, but this bill would do something that no other proposal to date has done. It would actually save money, uh, up to 22%, depending on the health plan. Uh, and it could be ready as early as next uh, April. So it's not about just reducing the increase in health care, which we have all gotten used to year after year, but actually decreasing the cost for small businesses um, up to 22%. So it's a significant savings for small businesses. What definition of small business? Uh, it'd be 50 employees or less by law in Massachusetts. So it could be anywhere between one employee and 50. Uh, a lot of similar attempts to bring costs down have also focused on getting hospitals to really accepting uh, your payments. Why do you think this one will get further ahead than other attempts at doing that? Well, I'm not aware that any attempts, uh, any substantive attempts that have been filed in the legislature have actually been made. Um, Eric, are you aware of any that do that? There, there's a number of bills you know, that would that seek to address, you know, provide some relief to small businesses. I think you know, the proposal that, that um, Senator Moore and Rep. Stanley filed back in, in July gets at really where the health care dollar goes, which is 90% you know, of the premium dollar pays for medical services. This seeks to get at at, at the price of health care services. Can you right. point out the differences between this bill and what the Retailers Association was trying to pass for a few years, which also addresses some companies? Yeah, the, re the retailers are supporting a bill called the Association Health Plans. We are opposed, just to be on the record, we are opposed to that. Because we don't think it will work. We think that the way the small group market is currently constructed by Massachusetts law, it already gives small businesses the largest possible break and have the largest possible group. Um, so um, I fully understand and am sympathetic to the plight of small businesses and the increases. I run a small business myself. Um, our, we have seven employees in our own association, so I fully understand that. But there's no proof that association health plans will lower the costs for everyone who needs it lowered, nor is it a proven formula. It was tried in Massachusetts in the 80s, and it was a retracted or it was ended by the legislature in 1996. And what it will do is it will, it will have some winners and some losers. It would also require changing the small group rating rules, which I think would be very detrimental to certain businesses, particularly those with older or sicker employees, uh, So, uh, which many small businesses have. Um, so um, I don't know, Tom, did you want to say more about the association health plans? Well, just to echo what uh, Dr. Pricey said, the, the challenge that we see with it is any time that you start to fragment a market, then essentially you do create winners and losers. So if you allow certain employers to go off and, and obtain um, rates at, at a lower level outside of kind of the, the regular market through an association health plan, what it means is you have a higher risk pool you need to, to deal with, so those folks end up paying more. So if you start splitting up and segmenting the market, then it really ends up uh, with winners and losers, and uh, that's really why that it has not been a successful approach in, in 